Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying 2D shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 9 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got some attributes of a shape, and we need to find which of these attributes can have both, which of these shapes can have both of these attributes. All right. Let's see. It needs to have exactly one pair of parallel signs. All right, so that's the vocabulary word. We need to know that going into the test, because if you look on our reference material, you're not going to see any definitions for what parallel means. All right, so let's make sure we understand parallel first. So parallel, I always remember it by looking at these two L's in parallel. The two L's in parallel are parallel. Okay, so what they are, are they are lines, or we can think of them as sides, because sometimes we'll use parallel to kind of you know, describe shapes. And so we're talking about sides, when we're talking about shapes. Lines are sides uh, that are always the same distance apart. And so they never touch, uh, they never get closer, they never get uh, farther away, they are just the same distance. So you always try to see them as like two straight lines, right, and pretend they're exactly straight, and they're, you can extend them to infinity, and they will never touch. Those are parallel lines. Uh, those are different than uh, what we call perpendicular lines. So perpendicular lines are other types of lines that we look at, and they touch, but they touch at a very specific angle. They touch at a right angle, a 90 degree angle. So those are the two big types of lines that we really focus on, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So we need parallel lines, and then we need no right angles. Well, we just drew a right angle right here. So a right angle is a square corner, right? It's 90 degrees. Okay, so let's draw some of these shapes and see if it has exactly not zero, not two, parallel sides, and then no right angles. Well, let's draw a hexagon. Hexagon is a six-sided shape, and let's just draw the standard hexagon. Let's not try to get crazy and silly with all kinds of weird configurations that happen to be technically hexagons because they have six sides. Because you can make a lot of different shapes, six sides. So this is what we typically think of as a hexagon. If you've got pattern blocks, it's the yellow one. Well, as you can see, I have in our standard hexagon, which is what we're going to just use for this particular problem here, look, I've got three pairs of parallel sides. So the top and the bottom are parallel. And I can say this dashed line or this slanted line is parallel with that slanted line. And then the other ones are as well. So that's not going to work. Now, there are no right angles. Uh, they are all actually obtuse angles. They're greater than 90. But it's got three sets of parallel sides, so I'm just going to write it like this. Three. This is our mathematical symbol for parallel. It just looks like two big L's. All right, so that's not going to work for us. Uh, let's look at a parallelogram. So what is a parallelogram? Well, it's quadrilateral. It's got uh, four sides, but it's a special quadrilateral because it has, by definition, two sets of parallel lines. All right, so that's our typical parallelogram. And as you can see, we've got two sets of parallel lines. We don't have any right angles, but I've got two sets of parallel lines. Now, there are special parallelograms that include a rectangle. Every rectangle is a parallelogram because it's got two sets of parallel sides. Every square is a parallelogram. Then also that rhombus, but we'll get down there. Rhombus is also a parallelogram. So that's not going to work because it's got two sets of parallel lines. Trapezoid. All right, so trapezoid, right? This is our typical trapezoid. Take a look at this. I only see one set of parallel sides. Because these two are not parallel. They'll eventually cross if you do like that. So trapezoid's got no right angles. And it's got one set of parallel lines. That could work. Let's check our rhombus. Well, a rhombus is kind of... Sometimes we'll just call it a diamond. It just It's a parallelogram that has four sides that are equal. So try to make them all equal. A square is a type of rhombus. But you see we've got these parallel sides here, and it's also a parallelogram. So that rhombus isn't going to work. So our answer is going to be C, trapezoid. 